completely different. All right. So the timing of the Ariana Grande Ethan Slater relationship is a little fishy. Here's why. The Ethan Slater Ariana Grande relationship began where she was still with Dalton Gomez, that handsome famous realtor, and he was with that girl that he knew since high school, and then they did a play together. And um, now they're together. And he's trying to explain the relationship for the first time ever, even though he's a cheater, and there's really nothing to explain. Whoa! Happy Hot Topic! Ethan Slater is speaking out for the first time about dating pop megastar Ariana Grande. In an interview with GQ published on October 30th, the witch... He has that face where if he's drunk at a bar, he probably acts like he's the man, and you just want to slap him like Chris Rock got slapped by Will Smith. Not even a punch. He's not manly enough to deserve a punch. You just want to slap him. Wicked actor admitted having his personal life under a microscope has not been easy. Well, you're dating the most uh, famous pop singer for our generation, one of them, and you cheated on your girls, so of course people are going to talk about it. The timing is really fishy. I think there was something that was really difficult about things in your private life being commented on and looked at by the public. Well, maybe you should have broke up with your ex first and then started sleeping with her and there wouldn't be a problem, buddy. Slater goes on to say, there were a lot of big changes in private lives that were really happening. So Yeah, I began not hanging out with my wife as much while I had a kid at home and I just started sleeping with Ariana while she was with her realtor boyfriend. It's really hard to see people who don't know anything about what's happening, commenting on it and speculating, and then getting things wrong about the people you love. Man, if you've already fallen in love with Ariana, you got a problem. Because what's going to happen is, I've seen this happen with people on radio. When there's a relationship that ruins the marriage and then the guy ends up dating the side chick, the side chick ends up cheating on him. Because a relationship, a relationship that begins in infidelity ends in infidelity. Grande and Slater's relationship was confirmed in July 2023. The two met on the set of Wicked. Their romance came after Grande separated from her now ex-husband, Dalton Gomez. Ariana just seems like such a terrible person. Although with that video of her licking a donuts 10 years ago, gives you a lot of images in your head. And Slater separated from his now ex-wife, Lily J, who he shares his two-year-old son with. Despite the difficult times, Slater says about the relationship, but of course it was an amazing year and a really beautiful thing. Adding about her performance in the highly anticipated film, I'm just really, really proud of Ari and the work she's done on. Can you imagine being the wife? What's going to end up happening is Ari's going to dump him and then he'll try to go back to the wife. This. After their relationship became public, the couple came under fire with tabloid rumors that Ariana Grande has also slammed and said are false. In a September interview with Vanity Fair, Grande said about the initial speculation, there couldn't be a less accurate depiction of a human being than the one that the tabloids spread about him. No, it's pretty accurate. There is no one on this earth with a better heart, and that is something that no BS tabloid can rewrite in real life. Oh, if having a heart means cheating on your uh, recently pregnant and given birth wife with Ariana Grande, then I don't want to have a heart. I don't want to be affiliated with you at all. Earlier this year, in an appearance on The Zack Sang Show, the pop star addressed the tabloids. There is a sense of this album where you're talking to people who have come to their own conclusion. What? People have... Oh, uh, here's Zach saying this dude's weird. He uh, does all these celebrity interviews, and I've met him a few times. And like, he's like, oh, but you got to do a podcast together, and then ghosted me. So now he's doing one-sided uh, celebrity interviews to kiss the ass of celebrities. Because why? They crafted their own narrative. Why be, uh, you know, genuine and ask the hard-hitting questions when you can just throw the softballs to get the interviews? No credibility. The pop star addressed the tabloids. There is a sense of this album where you're talking to people who have come to their own conclusion. What? People have crafted their own narratives. Yeah. Because the timing is there. Oh, I think you guys were efficiently broken up with each party before you started sleeping together. I thought there was no collusion. There was no, you know, I don't want to say cross promotion, but I'm sure you guys were like, hey, we got to break up with our significant other and then we start sleeping together. The thing is, is that like, we know this about the tabloids and about the media and about i don't know what type of plastic surgery ariana had on her face but she looks old about maybe being a cheater and a terrible person ages you and defending nickelodeon pedophiles don't, like 
Am I crazy? Don't we know this? But that's what I'm saying. It's like we selectively remember that this is what the tabloids do to people. They don't do anything to you. It's obvious that you cheated. And you don't like getting called now because you got that perfect girl image, even though all your songs are about how it's everybody else's fault and you're so perfect. When the amount of guys you've been with, you probably are the problem. Especially women. Oh, stop it. It's the same thing whenever people that get that commit crimes that are african-american make it about race she's making it about being a woman no it's about being a cheater based on whether or not we like the person we selectively remember that we selectively leave space for humanness for nuance like they don't leave space for that well they do for well, they, 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 you don't even know what you're saying you're just babbling for their friends and their family it's selective yeah. all right and your decision making is selective and not very good and you're not somebody I would want to date. Happy hour. Happy hour. It's time for happy in the morning. Ryanhappyradio.com. And like that.